everybody welcome back to the all things good channel and to this week's video how are you hope you're all doing really well happy sunday to you and a warm welcome to any new subscribers i know we've had some new ones this week warm warm welcome to the all things good channel so i say hope you're doing really well this week it's september we are racing into autumn already aren't we my goodness how quick is this year going so so quick and I'm starting to feel a little bit more autumnal and I've started to put a few little bits and pieces around the house that are a little bit more, just a little, a little wave to autumn. Do you know what I mean? Just a little glimpse here and there. I'm not going mad. I'm not going Halloween or anything like that yet. Just a little glimpse of autumn. I've got some lovely autumnal looking flowers that Paul, aka the Invisible Chef, has given me this week. It was very, very sweet. And I've got a few purchases to show you. A couple from next. I'm going to show you the first one here now because this ties in with going a little bit more autumnal. I need my reading glasses. This is from Next, but it's actually from the brand of Laura Ashley. And it is a beautiful ceramic pumpkin candle. Oh, and it smells so good. Oh, it's so lovely. Not too overpowering, but that is going to go in my lounge, I think. I think it's going to go in my lounge. So that's my first little nod to autumn this week. And I've had a few other little purchases um, to show you that are in the video a bit later on. I wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody that commented on last week's video, as you do most of my videos, which is incredible and I'm truly, truly grateful. But as you know, if you've been following my channel, things are changing quite dramatically with Nancy, aka Mom. And um, last week in particular was a huge turnaround of events. And as I say, things are changing quite dramatically. And it was very, very full on, shall we say. But you have sent the most supportive and encouraging wonderful messages to me and to Nancy. We are both truly, truly grateful. And I read every single one when I can throughout the week. And I do try to respond, I hope I have to you, to everybody as much as I can throughout the week as well. And I do read most of them out to Nancy, which she loves to hear about. And yeah, things are changing quite quickly for her. So we're kind of getting our thinking caps on. We've settled down a little bit this week into the sudden change that happened last week and the week before. We've sort of now got to grips with that new change and there's a little bit of flow going on. Um, but both my children are away this week and that's actually been very, very helpful for me in terms of organising and getting into a new routine with Nancy. But so grateful for your lovely comments. Really appreciate it and it makes me feel well, not alone. And I hope that this channel helps you feel not alone, whatever you're coping with and dealing with and all those kind of things. So all in all, this week has been another very busy week. And um, it's been lovely in many ways. And Nancy's been okay. She is in this week's video a little, a little bit. She's been okay. I am starting to get ready for my up and coming holiday, which is causing me a little bit of stress because of leaving Nancy. But I think if I'm very organised this week with one thing and another, um, everybody's in place, people are in place to look after her. But um, I'm kind of thinking about all the things that could possibly happen while I'm away. And it's not a good, a good way to be really, is it? I've got to try and live a little bit more in the moment. And I'm sure she's gonna be absolutely fine when I'm away, but I've been sorting out some things ready for my holiday. And as I say, getting the house a little bit more autumnal dare I say it. Oh my God, be vlogmas soon before we know it. Anyway, let's get into this week's video. I hope you enjoy it. Getting ready for my holidays. I've watched me flip flops and my sliders. <laughs> 
letting the sun shine to drop. say it's very strange coming to Morrison's without Nancy she um oh, I'm just going to her I need some coffee but I'm also very hot I'm going to have a Starbucks triple shot espresso mm -mm -mm. bear with oh I needed that mm. So Nancy has been in the car with me this morning. A doctor's appointment, a bit of a checkup, um, and all things considered, she's okay. And then <coughs> we were going to come to Morrison's, but going to the doctor's was more than enough for her. And we had a bit of a wait there, so it took us over an hour from the time I picked her up to the time I brought her back. So I've dropped her home and I've come to Morrison's and I've just done my shop and her shop. And it's ever so strange coming round Morrison's without her. I'm so used to this. It's such a routine. And of course, I'm parked in a different spot because with her, I've got the blue badge. So we normally park somewhere else. We've got our spot, you know. So, and and then I've got two lists on the go. My trolley's full. Um, so, you know, it just feels different because things are changing. But she's just not up to... She hasn't got the energy or the strength to walk around like she did even a month ago. So <clears throat> let's get home and yeah. Oh, it's gone a bit warm now actually, which is nice. You're a bit warm. Yeah. Shut the fan on. Yeah. Hang on then. You had your breakfast? Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Good. Say hello to everybody on YouTube. Hello everybody. Yeah, that's so important. I'm here just after breakfast. <laughs> What's happening this morning? You're having a new washing machine. A new washing machine and we're waiting for the man to come and bring it. So in about half an hour, you'll have a new washing machine. And we can put some washing on for you. Are you taking pictures? Yeah. No. No. There we have the old <laughs> machine with no door so we're gonna get a new one for her bless her there we go and it's quite nice easy dials to to do perfect i've just been out to the garage and found my bag of Autumn decor and Halloween. We don't need Halloween yet, but I thought I'd have a bit of a sort through and a bit of a clean up. And we can put, ooh, spiders, we can pull out the things that are going to be going up in the house for this new season. Ooh, now where can everything go? I need to get everything out and give it a clean first.
I was just in Adam's room, aka my son, um, and um, I was just putting some things down, and I was looking for Albert. Albert has a thing about getting in the laundry basket. Is that lovely, Albert? A bit smelly. Mm. Well, you have a little sleep, yes? Well, keeping everything crossed, this time next week, I am going on my jollies. So I have gone into the garage again today and bought out my box that I keep all my holiday bits and pieces in and my suitcase. And what I like to do about a week before my holiday is to start thinking about what I need to take. And I won't be taking everything that is packed in here already, but it's how I like to sort things out about a week in advance. And then I wash anything that needs washing. This little bag, I keep all my swimwear in, pairs of shorts and sort of beach dresses if you like so I'm sorting those through they were washed after my last holiday but I sort through what I want and then I give them another wash before I go on holiday and actually there's going to be quite a few bits and pieces in there that aren't going to fit me this year so I really am going to be narrowing this down but I like to have a little reminder of what I've got and then I'm just going to keep it all stored in Adam's room for the time being because Adam is away this week as well that's been really helpful I've been able to use his bed so it's just the initial sort out and think about what I want. And then as the week goes on, I will start to pack. But I also start to really narrow things down as well. So the other thing I've done is I've picked out a selection of dresses from my wardrobe that during the course of this week, I will try on as well to see if they still fit. And some of these will be my evening attire. One of the other reasons I'm going on holiday next week is actually because it covers Paul, AKA the Invisible Chef's 50th birthday. So I've had a delivery. Or three. And I can't show you what I've got him because surprisingly, he does watch some of my vlogs. And um, <clears throat> so what I've decided to do so I can't take all these presents on holiday and there is one that's really quite big that's hiding at the moment so I'm gonna have to wrap all these presents and we're gonna do presents the night or two nights before we go away so I've got to find somewhere to hide these until then and that's the problem when you start living with someone they're here all the time they know all your secrets and all your hiding places. I'm going to have to find somewhere really good to put these. Not that he would peek. I'm sure he wouldn't peek. But I just need to put them where... A, I remember <coughs> where they are. And I'm going to have to wrap them when he's not around. It's working from home today, so I can't do it today. Mm. Where can they go? They might have to just go in Adam's bedroom sort of mingled within the holiday things. Yeah, you wouldn't think to look there, would he? No. I'm gonna put them in there for now. <clears throat> mm, I thought my sofa cushions were looking a bit tired. I really like this one in the middle that is not very old at all. These are quite old and um, I've noticed when I'm sitting on the sofa, perhaps watching a bit of telly in the evening, it's not very comfortable. So I have made a purchase from Next. I have bought two of these, which I think are really rather lovely. Let me put the first one here to show you. And let's just tidy that up a bit. I've actually bought two of these black. I really like this ribbed white detail on the edges and I think it's going to go better not just with the sofa but with the rug that's down and with that other cushion in the middle of the sofa. I think it's going to look much better. I think they look quite nice and it gives a little bit of definition doesn't it on texture but on colour as well, because my household has acquired this rug recently, because this was Paul's, aka the Invisible Chef, from his previous house. We didn't want to waste it, so we thought we'd use it in here. And we think it goes quite nicely. But it also adds a bit of definition, a bit of extra colour 
from all the beige and the white that's in here. And a bit of mixed match furniture from various houses. So I'm actually really pleased with those cushions because it does give a little bit of something different and they're so comfortable. In fact, I might just have a little lie down and a snooze now. I know one's looking, but yes, they are very comfortable. Very pleased with those. I'll link them in the description box down below for you that are from Next. They are £18 each, but they do do smaller ones as well. Those are quite big, aren't they? They do do smaller ones as well and in every colour you can imagine. And or I can still put the cream ones there as well, can't I? Yeah. Comfy. So here we are having our moment on the bed. And the word of the week is breathe. <laughs> and just breathe. Full on. Another full on week. As I've said before, wouldn't have it any other way. However, the dramatic change in Nancy has forced us obviously into a different routine amongst other things. And today is Saturday and I have spent from 9am till where are we now? 20 to 3 with Nancy today. And I should be going back about 6 o'clock to make some dinner for her. She is not mobile at all very much and she's using her walker in the house, as you saw earlier. She's also using it to go into the kitchen to make a cup of tea, to make a sandwich. But then she can't hold a plate with a sandwich on or a cup of tea and use the walker. So things are really changing. So all this week I have gone in at tea time and made her a meal or I've made a meal at home and taken a portion over to her. Sunday she tends to come to me for Sunday dinner anyway so that's Sunday covered. But you know just seeing how much more busy I have had to become this last week or two in order for her to function normally has been a, a massive increase in work time and effort. And that's not gonna get any better. That's only gonna get worse. Now, mom has always said she never wants to go into a home, a care home. It's not something she would do very willingly at all. I don't think we're quite at that stage. And she's such and was such a fiercely independent woman that I would have a real battle on my hands to try and get her to do that at this stage. But things are really changing and I can't function in two households dashing backwards and forwards and maintain my life and everything and even with everybody involved as much as everybody is really helpful to me and my family you know step in as much as they can it's we've all got our own lives you know my daughter has to work and you know everybody's working Paul's working everybody's working and you know it is difficult it is difficult we have thought that we may have to sell my house and sell Nancy's house and buy one big house and have her live with me. Now she couldn't live in this house, unfortunately. One, because it's three stories. So the living area is on the middle floor. She wouldn't be able to get up the stairs. There's nothing to convert downstairs. We, there's no room we could convert into a bedroom. And even if we did, there'd be no washing facilities downstairs um, other than a small WC room that's just got a little tiny sink, basin and a toilet. And there's no room for extension downstairs, unfortunately. So this house would not be appropriate for mum to live in. But if we sold the two houses and bought one big one, 
where she'd got her own little annex, let's say, and an element of independence, that potentially could work well. So that is something I'm now starting to think about. And out of interest, I might even go and view some houses. But then that throws up the, is she capable of moving? Could we do it again? Um, it would take a lot of practical help, but we'd stay very local if we could. It's just an idea. And I'm having to think of lots of ideas at the moment without racing too far in the head in the future. Equally, I've got to know that things aren't going to get better. So some plan of action has got to be whirring around somewhere so that we can step in when's needed. I certainly can't go on like this indefinitely. And because my pain level so bad as well at the moment, that's just making things even harder, really. That being said, I start my physiotherapy this week. God knows how I'm going to do that because I can't. I can't even cross my legs. That's how bad my leg is, my right leg, but I can't cross my legs. It hurts to walk too much. It hurts to have, it hurts, it hurts. Let's just put it that way. How we're going to do physiotherapy is beyond me. But I've also got this awful pain in the back of my neck and particularly my shoulder has been really bad this past two weeks and my right arm. So it's all sort of on the right hand side of my body, but my shoulder and my arm are incredibly painful. My back's incredibly painful. My legs are very, very painful. So I'm not sure how we're going to do physio. And then two days after physio, I've got a doctor's appointment and a, yeah, a full on doctor's appointment really, where I want to be able to discuss having more tests, having more blood tests, um, I am not convinced that the tendonitis that I've got in my thigh is what's causing all this pain because I've had this since April. And even if I had very bad tendonitis, I've read that that goes within about six to eight weeks. Sometimes a little bit longer if it's very severe. Well, this has been since April, so I'm not wholly convinced and I need a full MOT, as it were. So that is, fingers crossed, this week. And then I go on my holidays. As I said earlier, all being well. <laughs> I'm giving everything cross that I can and hopefully I will and I'll be able to have a week of relaxation physically and because uh, I will worry about mom and I will worry about other things because I do and it's natural I suppose isn't it but I will have a, a physical week of relaxation which hopefully will help my aches and pains and all those kind of things. Anyway, so that's what brings me on to this week, really, and to say that, so I've got to be very, very organised. So today, Sunday, as you're watching this, but after you're watching this, I'm going to start to sort out really everything that I'm going to take on my holidays, because as the week then goes on, I should be busy again with Nancy you know, her washing, looking after the house. We have employed a cleaner who's starting on Thursday of this week at mom's house. And it's somebody I know very well. So very, very pleased about that. That's another thing we've put in place, which is great. So uh, readjusting to the new changes. And it's a bit of a pickle that the new changes are happening so quickly just before I go on holiday. Um, because it's very difficult to know what instructions to leave the folks that are left here. For Granny, but and they're adults, I'm sure they'll be able to figure it out. But Grace is going to have her work cut out. So is Adam with visiting meals, um, you know, and doing some general jobs for Mum. But anyway, let's not think too far, race too far ahead and just enjoy this week for what it is, doing what we're doing. So this week I'm going to concentrate on getting my packing done. I'm looking forward to my holiday and hopefully last bit of sunshine for this year. Have any of you had any really exciting trips this summer? Have you all had your summer holidays now or done whatever it is you would like to do? I hope so. hope so. Thank you for joining me once again on the All Things Good channel. I know not everything is good on the All Things Good channel at the moment and that's the way it is, isn't it? That's just life and it's probably 
exactly like your life, like anybody's life at the moment, or certainly like anybody that is caring for somebody or if you're not well yourself, you know, how difficult it is to do things when you're in pain or those kind of things. So sometimes all things good channel isn't always all things good, but we try and get some good in there, don't we? Because balance, balancing our life out in every way is probably key to keeping, well, I was going to say sane, not just keeping sane, but keeping um, the wheels turning and the plates spinning without them all crashing down around you. Just being able to do what you can, embrace the challenge, whatever that might be, and love the good stuff. That's all we can do, isn't it? That's all we can do. Anyway, fingers crossed for a better week this end. Hope you have an absolutely wonderful week. Let me know if you're making your houses autumnal or doing anything or you're making any purchases or going somewhere nice. Fingers crossed like I am. But until next Sunday, stay safe. Stay in that boat and keep doing all things good. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye. <laughs>